sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I am Sky, and I am the owner of House and Home and I'm so happy that you're here today. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a safe, healthy, and happy new year. Thank you for taking a moment today to visit me over on my channel. I am so excited to share this video with you all today. I would love to thank Casterly for sponsoring today's video. I am sitting on my new Owen sofa in our master bedroom and I can't wait to share this space with y'all, so stay tuned for that. So we traveled for the holidays, we visited our family back in Illinois and it was super sweet and it was just great to see everybody, but it's also so good to be home. We spent the last couple of days just really taking all of the Christmas down and de-decorating from the holidays and it was so bittersweet because I loved having everything out and this was our first Christmas in this home. and. There was just something so magical about it. We really, really loved it, and I have to say that I was really sad to see it all go. But we needed to prepare for what's to come in the new year and in 2022, and for me, that is shoulder surgery. So I am having surgery on the 6th, I'm not sure exactly what day this video is going out, so I may have already had it by the time that you are seeing this, and I'm gonna be down for the count for a while. So we knew that we needed to go ahead and do some de-decorating and really just put out some everyday decor. So what we did was Chad and I spent the last couple of days, the last little bit of our holiday break, just in our pajamas, taking everything down, organizing so much and it feels so good to have separate storage areas for all of the different holidays and all of our seasonal decor. Now that that's done, we decided that it was time to hang some things on the walls. We have lived in this home since October and really just rushed in and did all of the big projects like new flooring, refinishing hardwoods, uh, new paint everywhere, hardware, lighting, all of that like big stuff. We got all that out of the way, but we realized that we have a lot of bare walls and we wanted this home to just feel homey and cozy and like an oasis and a retreat, um, especially coming up where I am going to be recovering from my surgery and spending a lot of time at home not able to lift for a good while and just wanted to get it all done so that we could really, really enjoy it. And oh my goodness, it turned out so great, just better than I even had envisioned. Um, I can't tell you how many times over the last couple of days that Chad and I have just locked eyes and we just look up and we're like, goodness, we love this house. We're so thankful for this house. We just feel so grateful. And so we want this to be just a peaceful sanctuary for our family um, in the busy days and the slow days and everything in between. And it really feels like it's becoming that. So I have lots of things to share with y'all today. And we're basically just going to take a house tour and go back through our house and I'm gonna share, of course, just the spaces that we have decorated. Uh, right now, I would say that our home is just a very cozy, simple aesthetic. I really hope that you enjoy this video and that it gives you loads of decorating inspiration for just creating a fresh start for the new year. Now, as you can see, we are just going with light, bright, airy, and fresh for the new year. In the dining room, I really wanted to create a simple and minimal look. I do not love clutter, and I knew that being home for several months, recovering after surgery, I was going to get really tired of the clutter really quickly. 
if I had a lot out on the tables and the countertops. And so I just decided to go with a really simple look. I grabbed my huge wooden tray from Hearth and Hand and a new oversized table runner from them as well and just laid that out on my table with a beautiful bouquet of um, some flowers and just decided to call it a day in here. And sometimes simple just brings me so much joy and I love starting a new year out just feeling nice and fresh and having just that minimal feel in our home. Over here on our little side tables, I put some beautiful frames. These are also from Hearth and Hand and I love them so much. Over on our other little cabinet, I ended up just putting a picture in the small frame and now I majorly regret not buying two big ones. So I'll be making a trip back to Target. Uh, these are just great frames and they were at such a great price. And I love being able to have pictures of our family and our kiddos just sitting out where we can see them and look at them every day. That truly helps make a house feel like home. I hope that you enjoy this simple whites, woods, and greens look for the new year. Okay, my friends. Now it's time for the room that I have been most excited to bring you all into today, and that is our master bedroom. This room used to have blue carpet, and it was just a hot mess, if I do say so myself. And we have just been slowly but surely piecing it together and really making it ours, and wow. We are so pleased with how it looks today. Let me just tell y'all that I could not have imagined a better piece of furniture for this room than our new Casterly sofa. It is the perfect little reading nook sofa. I love getting up in the morning and grabbing my coffee, taking my Bible or a devotional or a book over to the sofa, snuggling up with a cozy blanket and my dog, and just starting my day off right. Casterly is a modern furniture company that creates a story for every room in your home. They craft furniture that is timeless and they use the highest quality raw materials to create pieces that are built for longevity and multi-purpose use. It is a direct-to-consumer brand, so they don't have a middleman, and they're able to extend honest pricing and affordability to their customers because of that. Casterly believes that there is value in taking the time to curate your home with intention, and they want to help create spaces that make you feel good, building intimate connections between you and your space and the people that come into it. The brand believes in creating homes that can do everything with dining tables that operate as headquarters, beds that moonlight as pirate ships, and couches that double as front row seats. Some really cool things about Casterly are that they have free fabric swatches. So if you're not sure which fabric you want to go with or what's going to look best in your space, you can order free swatches, which is amazing. They have flat rate shipping and a 14 day return policy. And they also have a warranty coverage, which is just unbeatable. So I am just absolutely in love with this sofa everyone in our family just immediately piles onto it when they come into our bedroom it is the comfiest thing we have ever sat on and not to mention it definitely serves our master bedroom with a huge purpose of just being that cozy um, restful space that we can come to at the end of a busy day or at the beginning of a day to start our day off right and uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous
And of course, I have these beautiful cabinets in our master bedroom and I wanted to style them with some of my favorite cozy knit sweaters and a few other just decorative elements that I have around the house and I love to be able to see through the glass doors of these cabinets. During the holiday season, I snatched up these beautiful dried leaves from Target and I decided to put them out in a couple of different places in our home this season, just in some glass jars and I think they're just timeless and beautiful and a great way to add a pop of color to any little space. Now this is what I'm so excited to share today, actually really all of it, but check out the beautiful little hanging rack that Chad installed on the side of our kitchen cabinets. This is going to be such a great functional space for me to store my tea towels. I may hang some pictures or a colander up there and then my apron. I have found that if I leave my apron out instead of just shoving it in a drawer, I am so much more likely to actually put it on and I am kind of a messy cook. So it's definitely something that I'm going to be using, utilizing more this time of year now that I have it sitting out and I really love that wood. It ties everything in together as you can see our wooden mantle and just all of the different ways that we've incorporated um, those more natural tones in our home. Above the fridge there you'll see two baskets. I actually decided to use those as my bread baskets for now. So they are up there. They're super handy and easy to grab. They're off the countertops which I love and again they just add a cozy feel anytime you add that like woven basket texture to your home. I am hanging our a family print shop silhouettes from uh, my good friend Essie. She is just the best. I absolutely love supporting her small shop and these silhouettes are just such a meaningful piece in our home and I just love them so so much. All right, moving on into our Eden kitchen area. Again, just wanted to create a very simple space in here. I have this beautiful mirror. It's a vintage mirror that I found on Facebook Marketplace. It fits this spot absolutely perfectly and I love mixing in the old and the new. Okay, let's take a quick look and by quick, I mean super quick look into our half bath. And the reason is because it's not totally done, but I did want to give you guys just a little glimpse of some of the progress that we've made in this space. It's really coming together nicely and it's definitely a room that I'm excited about. In the second half of our home, I definitely took on that less is more approach as well. And especially with our kitchen table, this is a space that we are sitting at probably four to five times a day, whether we're eating, doing snack time, doing crafts or schoolwork. This is a spot that we frequent. And so I didn't want it to be cluttered. And one way that I have found being able to add decor to spaces, um, especially like tables and countertops is adding white dishes and glassware and pieces that don't feel 
dark and heavy and like they're adding clutter. And so that is kind of what I have done in that space and in other uh, spaces in our home, specifically our kitchen and the kitchen counters. Moving on to this cute little area, I am hanging one of my seagrass baskets, a tea towel, and a super cute watering can from the new Hearth and Hand line. If you guys haven't checked it out, stay tuned because I am doing a shop with me video coming up very soon. Now, you guys know I'm big fans of blankets everywhere, blanket ladders, blanket baskets, and we have our fair share of that in this space. I also incorporated a lot of our trees and our greenery back into our home since the holidays are over. I put all of my really pretty pine trees and evergreens away, and while I miss them, there is something so nice about putting out like a light and airy tree. We've got our frame TV up here, which is really the focal point that in the fireplace of this room I decided to hang a little tiny eucalyptus wreath on our fireplace I think I got this one at the dollar spot last year for like three dollars And I added some white dishes my corbels and some antique books to the top of our mantle going to take a quick look at the sunroom but I actually took some footage of this space at night because I wanted you guys to just feel the ambiance. It is so incredibly cozy with our string lights on and the little lamp on. This has become one of the just most relaxing wonderful spaces in our home and we spend so much time out here and uh, I just I'm just obsessed with how it's turned out I just love it so much it really is so so cozy so stay tuned for the end of today's video where you can see a little glimmer of what this beautiful space looks like at night okay my sweet friends that is all for today's video thank you so much for being here please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up say hi in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I would love to have you join our YouTube family we have so many fun things planned for the new year from house projects to all things house and home and new arrivals and decor hauls it's going to be such a great year now I did pre-film a little bit of content that you'll see rolling out in the next week or two I did a Target shop with me with all the new hearth and hand decor and it's good y'all I'm just saying it's good and then I also am planning to do an Amazon home slash just really linking all the things in our home because since we moved in we have gotten so many questions about where our rugs are from, our bed frame, our nightstands, our light fixtures, our hardware, our everything. <laughs> so I will have all that linked um, in that video and I think it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned. Make sure you're plugged in on Instagram. I'll be sharing in stories some of my surgery updates and recovery and all of that. So if you'd like to see some of that, make sure that you follow us at House and Home. Okay, friends, that's all for now. I'll see you next time. Thank you.